Hey guys, so I just want to let you all know that I am the one who makes all the English translations for the Japanese games on my channel. I know a bunch of you are enjoying this series and I want to let you know I have much more where that comes from. Like, I've got a pretty big series called Shikyoku, if you don't mind scary Japanese visual novels. I've also translated a bunch of apps like Accessible Prison that you should check out too. As always, make sure you subscribe so you guys don't miss when I update because it doesn't happen too often just because of how much work it takes to make these videos. But the way it's worth it, right? Right? Alright, back to the game. That's... Huh? There are people gathered around outside the club room. Oh, isn't that the archery club? Sabasa, are you okay? Sabasa, hurry and open up the door. Sabasa, that guy from before. Looks like something happened in the archery club room. It's no use. The door is locked. Oh, that's right. Who signed out the key for the club room today? Um. Oh, I was supposed to. Oh, hurry up, Omota. Hurry and unlock the door. S sorry. I forgot to grab the key to the archery room from before. Huh, huh, here it is. Th thank you. It's open. Are you okay, Subasa? No way. Hey, hey, this can't be serious. His mouth is sewn up. Hey, say something, Subasa. No reply. No, no way. Who, who the hell would do something like this? Oh, wait, he's still breathing. Really? Thank goodness. Subasa, Subasa. There's no use. He won't open his eyes. How horrible! There's blood dripping from his mouth. We need to get him to the infirmary right away. All right. Afterwards, they carried Tsubasa out from the archery club room. What a very shocking case has happened, huh? His mouth was actually sewn up. How painful. No way. Was this the work of a doppelganger? Looks like a new case has popped up. Th that voice. Greetings, it is us again. Looks like the doppelganger has made its first move. So, this really is the work of the doppelganger. Yeah. The culprit is a doppelganger from the Class 2B. Somebody did this to Tsubasa. <laughs> Hurry and find the culprit and put them to rest. But how? In order to put them to rest, you have to find some evidence that they are indeed a doppelganger. Furthermore, until the motive is discovered, there can still be casualties. But even if you say that all of a sudden... The doppelganger doesn't have any psychic abilities. They have M.O.s and can only commit crimes like any other human. That's why, if you intend to track them down, look for the motive to solve the case. In order to get your memories back, keep on fighting. Speaking of that, we look forward to working with you. See ya! Wait, wait a minute! They're gone again. Oi, Nobuyuki! Are you spacing out? Uh, yeah. Well, this is a job for the occult club. Of course you'll help, right, Nobuyuki? Um... If what those two said... That in order to get my memories back, that until the motive is discovered, there could still be casualties. But just with that, even just searching by myself, I need everyone's help. Uh, yeah, I'll help since I'm in the occult club. R really? We did it, Kisuke! Our club has reached three members old. <laughs> you won't regret this. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, please take this. 
This is... It's your very own original occult badge. It's proof that you're part of the occult club. Um... Just let Shiro have this. He won't be quiet otherwise. You're right. I put the badge on. It looks great! We match! <laughs> Thanks. Well then, let's begin our investigation right away. Stitch his mouth up. The culprit must have really hated Tsubasa. I yeah. Is this really the work of a doppelganger? If I don't find the doppelganger soon... Well, let's look around and see the crime for evidence. Who the hell could have done that to Tsubasa's mouth? This case's tension sure is high. With these circumstances, the tension is really rising. This guy really isn't normal. Okay, let's go on the phone. This phone is... It's covered in blood. Perhaps it's Tsubasa's. But it's locked. Since it's locked, I can't look at what's on it yet. You pick on the note. A torn up note. It has a cute cat design on it. This blood soaked paper. Could it belong to Tsubasa? Probably. Hmm? Something's written on it. Um, I love you. Is this a confession letter? Well, Tsubasa is quite the looker. It's not strange he would get a confession letter. But why would he tear this one up? Hmm, maybe it was from a girl he's not interested in? Hey, we got some evidence. Click on the phone. It's lining up. The phone. Hmm? It just got a text message. Why did you tell my secret I told you yesterday? Hurry and erase it from the chat board. What does it mean from the chat board? Hmm. This sure is quite the ominous and angry text. Let's look through the phone for more. But how do we do that? The truth must be amongst the victim's belongings. Hmm. You can't stop Shiro when he gets like this. How are we going to unlock Tsubasa's phone? That's right. We can't quit now. Yeah, there must be a hint for the password somewhere. If we quit now, the case won't be solved. Uh, I know. Password hint? Does it really exist? I click on the blood. There's blood. Most likely it's Tsubasa's. Who could have done something like this? Yeah, there's a sticker on the wall. Hmm? I've seen this sticker before. That's right. It's the same picture as on Tsubasa's phone. Then this must be Tsubasa's locker. I see. The password hint is definitely inside there. We could look in the other lockers, but this should give us what we need. Hey, you can't just go looking through other stuff. Uh, this is... Whoa, there's so much stuff in here. This is absolutely full. I didn't expect this from Tsubasa's clean image. He's really messy. Haha, <laughs> it looks just like Shiro's room. It's fine with me, dude. Hurry, see if you can find any notes in there. Uh, okay. Okay, we're gonna click on the letters. Love letters. Sebasa sure gets all the girls. Okay, with some presents. Uh, presents. Did he get this from his fan club? And then paper. There is a crumpled up paper here. Is this his phone's lock password? Uh, username, blah blah blah, Tsubasa, password, 9999. 
I wonder if he changed the default password. Well, let's see. Okay, we'll go back. Click on the phone again. Okay, the phone wants me to input a four digit code. We looked around, but is there really a password hint somewhere? Okay, so we enter in 999. Oh, it unlocked. Wow, he really didn't update the default password. So he didn't change it, huh? What kind of a goof is Tsubasa? Well, thanks to that, we were able to open his phone. Well, let's look at the text from before. Uh, yeah, 